Hello, Peter. Welcome back. Hello, hi, Armin. Nice to meet you. What, what would happen to you, Peter? I don't know. Since I, I, I'm, I'm really, really into science and I'm listening to the, to the virologists and so on, mm. and I found out uh, they said also computers can have viruses. So mm -hmm. I'm very afraid when I when I'm on, I'm on my keyboard and, and mm -hmm. we are chatting. Yeah, but uh, but you know I I'm I'm yeah okay. What can I say? Maybe I had Corona before it was hip 2019 uh, or 18 okay. even. But but now I you know I'm I'm Genesian, so to say. But on the other side, I can I think calm you down. Computer viruses are a little different, so I never heard of a coronavirus in a computer. But we never know; it might happen. So, but I think for now it's simply but, not but possible. There are viruses in computers. There are virus mm. scanners and so on in computers. Yes, of course. Yeah, this is Bill Gates creates viruses to sell afterwards a virus program. Of course, you are a conspiracy theorist. But of course, but I forgot my aluminum hat today. But it's fine. Yes, but. Mm -hmm. But uh, but the still, there side. is no the safe side. There is so no core computer virus. virus can get me. Yeah, maybe, but but not the coronavirus. That's fine. Not the corona. Not on the computer, so it's fine. You're safe. Oh, oh you're right. Just just corona is deadly. The, the computer virus are harmless, just like uh, not, not no. I mean, you saw that every year we have a flu season. We have thousands and millions of viruses in our bodies, but it seems like none of them is so lethal than this coronavirus. But I think you don't have it in your computer. But you don't know anything about computer viruses. How deadly they are? No, of course not, because I have a, a Mac computer, an Apple computer. We don't have viruses. This is all Microsoft. It's just on Bill Gates, Microsoft. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I have Microsoft, so I have to. Yeah, then you can protect yourself. It's better. Okay. So, mm. do you think I? I'm I, I think you don't but, need. So but this I is... have a, a kind of of app who is scanning, which is scanning the computer. Yes. So mm -hmm. he said the computer is clean, but I don't trust these apps because they are also made by. By the same. Know, by, the, by, by the, the one by who. The, the one who sells the solution, of course, produces a problem. Of course, this is they make their own money with the, the reptiloids, no? Hmm? The reptiloids, the 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 the, the illuminates and they they uh, are yeah, making this. Yeah, we we, we don't talk about this today because we you know we annoy so many people because of our conspiracy truth, not theories. But that's why you know people some people are upset. I wonder why they even watch our channel then. Hmm. You know, I'm I'm so happy that that in in a bow and an arrow, it isn't possible that there are viruses inside. I think so. I would be not so sure when you have a wood arrow with my or, <laughs> or a Chinese bow. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Chinese bow, and then from from yeah, and from the Wuhan forest, you have then an, an, an arrow. You never know. Wuhan arrow. It's a very it's a biological weapon. Exactly. <laughs> now, as I heard I heard two days ago, I heard something very interesting. The theory that all this corona, this whole pandemic is because of the global warming. Because of yes, the global of warming, we have more CO2, how to call it in English. Yes. And because of this, it makes trees grow. So, of course, in China, in Wuhan, there grew a lot of trees and a lot of forests. And bats, of course, live in this forest. So we had more bats. And we know that these bats are carriers of corona viruses. And that's why we have so many bats. And that's why we have this pandemic, because of the global warming. Yes, and, and um, that's true. And the other mm -hmm. thing is, uh, they also say, as I said last time, the capitalism and, 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 and the, the, the Western people are responsible for this because we are getting closer to closer and closer to nature, to the animals, and so the, the viruses they jump over mm. to the humans. Yeah. So we are lost because yeah. there's climate change and virus uh, pandemics and cataclysms. Yeah. Oh, sorry. We are living in horrible times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Mm. I'm old enough. I just wanted I to say. I, I will die. I take off this shit. No? Matt, bravo, bravo. What a brave guy. Oh, yeah. I'm so proud of you. 
Yeah, let's yeah. let's stay let's stay clever and smart. And, <laughs> and when you read on the package of these face masks, they write specifically that they are not protect for virus, so they don't protect for viruses. So you know you can almost look through. So <laughs> how shall I keep a virus away from you? But hey, what little do I know? You know. We don't know. We don't know. I just believe what they are telling us on television, in yeah, the newspapers, too. and mm -hmm. in the media, and they say it's very deadly. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw it even on this G7 meeting now. How in this in this group photo when they all stood exactly 150 meters apart, you know that. You know, I mean, of course, you see then the photos afterwards where they do social distancing and touchy touchy and whatever and stand all close together without face mask, but telling us we need to wear face masks. So, but I don't know. You know, it's, you know the, the politicians, they have security, so they are safe. Ah, that's why. Yes. You know what I heard? Hmm? Uh, I don't know. I think Angela Merkel had as a, a, a duty limousine, you know, a, a, mm -hmm. A limousine, I don't know, an Audi or a BMW. You know, something German. But she changed the car to a to a, 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 a Volkswagen bus van mm -hmm. because she was afraid that her driver could infect her. Of course, he's tested and vaccinated and so on. Mm -hmm. But now she sits. Mm -hmm. Some meters behind him, and she's more safe now. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy that Angela Merkel at least is safe because yeah, exactly do without her. Imagine what, 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 what would Germany be without Angela? Of course, it's... the world, the world. She's the climate chancellor. She's yeah, exactly. she's making peace with all the migrants and and all. She she just disliked President Trump, but now Biden mm -hmm. she loves. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one has to love Biden. He is like he is like this this silly old grandfather, you know, who doesn't get any sentence correct anymore. He forgets where he comes from. He forgets where he wants to go. It's he is always entertaining on every party. That's why we all like these people. Look, she grew up. Uh, she grew up in a communist yeah. regime. She was in the party in the communist regime. So mm -hmm. my conspiracy theory is they they, they put her into Germany, into Western Europe as a sleeper. So mm -hmm. she's at the right wing CDU <laughs> party, but mm -hmm. she's a sleeper. And, mm -hmm. and like, like uh, how is it called? MK Ultra. They woke her up. Yeah, brainwashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she, oh, we closed down all uh, nuclear power plants mm -hmm. and we, we turn around all this electricity mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, there are also some good things which can come come from China, and one is this. Soon too, yeah, of course, the art of war. Yes, yeah. Back mm -hmm. then, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, great stuff. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Not everything is bad from China. No, no. And this is this is what I then don't understand. There are many I, on YouTube, I get them often the comments when I test a, a bow from China. Oh, I would never buy something from China. I don't support the system. Uh, okay. I don't start a discussion with them anymore. This is useless. Uh, you know what? In my opinion, it's like that. The Chinese are doing what they are doing. Mm -hmm. And they have a long plan and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Not the Chinese are the are the bad ones, but our stupid Western politicians are the bad ones mm. because they're too stupid, too, too idiotic to check what's going on. Mm. That's the problem. If if one is a, a, a tall guy, a strong guy, and, and, and making is making something, okay, he, he, he's able to do it and he will do it. Mm. The, the, the bad guys are the, the weak ones. They are not prepared and not thinking about, oh, what is this mm. big guy going to do? Yeah. Yeah. So what about archery? Oh, good question. What is about archery? When did you shoot your last arrow? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> two weeks ago. Because oh, really? <laughs> I, moved, I moved to this, this new place and... Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a big garden down there. I will erect a 
target stand and mm -hmm. then we will see okay if i'm able to hit something no you, you always hit something yes <laughs> so the arrow will always land somewhere and you always hit something green. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, the green is always the biggest target it's easy to hit so fine. But you know, the, the more they talk about about uh, about uh, the, the 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 climate change and the nature is dying and so, mm -hmm. I like to shoot in the green because then I shoot at a, a grass or a flower mm -hmm. and <laughs> say, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 you kill nature. Uh -huh. I see. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I shoot yeah. at straw targets, so you know, I let the cut, cut the grass first and then they dry yeah. it, you know, and then they press it. And I shoot in this one. So grass, second generation. You are shooting at mummified life. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm, I'm a necro archer. <laughs> a necro. <yeah. laughs> hey, okay. The, the, I think we don't go any further than this. <laughs> uh, should we talk about something? Something. Um, I get lots and lots of questions about uh, the, the stuff we talked in the last, or, or I don't know, uh, uh, episode, uh, the stages of the shoot, of the shot. Mm -hmm. What are the stages, the phases of the shot? Yeah. And, and one important, I, I, I'm sure you also got questions, is anchor point, yeah. how to release proper, mm -hmm. And yes, maybe this is follow through. Maybe that we go a little more through, in detail. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe first of all, because I have often this thing that they tell me, yeah, I'm whatever uh, right handed, but I'm left eye dominant. Can I still shoot a right handed bow? I need, do I need to shoot a left hand bow? Like they tell me in when you go to an archery club and they only shoot this yeah. Olympic system bows. Then they tell you, oh, you're left eye dominant, so you need to shoot a left hand bow. Yeah. How do you see it with the eye dominance? Uh, if you're, I don't know the right term in English, but if you're, you're a right handed person or a left handed person, doesn't matter, mm -hmm. uh, shoot uh, how you feel better. If you're a right handed person, and you feel good shooting right-handed, it doesn't matter which eye is dominant, because I think we talked before about mm -hmm. it, our brain will do the job. Mm -hmm. so Just have to do it. Yeah. yeah. Only if you use sights or you aim over yeah. the arrow, then you yeah. need. Yeah. But yeah. even then you could go away and shoot right-handed with the left, you only need to know where yeah. you have to aim, but it makes life a bit complicated. But as long as you shoot, traditional or instinctive or intuitive or whatever, and you only look at your target, eye dominance is not a big just, It's just, yeah. just another, another uh, mathematic operation your brain is. And who, who will not believe that? I simply invite them, shoot when you think you're right eye dominant, you can't shoot left hand, shoot a few arrows with your right side, with your right eye dominant, and then yeah. grab a bow and shoot left hand at the same target. It might take you one or two shots. And then yeah. all of a sudden, it works in the same way. Yeah, uh, because it's also because uh, archery is difficult enough. Yeah. So if you start archery, everything is new, new to you, mm. and you also start changing your your yeah. side, left to right, or, or the opposite. Yeah. That's a horror thing because mm -hmm. you know you know how to grasp a, th a thing with your right hand and. Mm. Till you learn it with the left, you mm. will get crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's confusing. And you you will lose fun. Exactly. You lose and you, fun and you lose fun. interest in this hobby and you give up before you even start it properly. Yeah, maybe. Doesn't, maybe. doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if it's true. Maybe it's like today with the, with the genders. <laughs> they say, yes, it's possible. Mm -hmm. uh, one day you are right eye dominant and a week later you're left eye dominant maybe i don't know um, if it's true but i saw i saw uh, i saw an awesome post today of a, of a company they sell printed t-shirts and on a t-shirt was this colorful you know this rainbow and then yeah. there are more than two genders was printed on the t-shirt but when you order it you can click male or female version for the t-shirt so what <laughs> you know then they give you a few more options when there are more than two genders oh, so seriously 
Yeah, it was so, AOK. Yeah, yeah, we had this. So we go back to archery, then <laughs> otherwise. Yeah. So but, also uh, the, the, the true core of this uh, statement is I really heard that the, you can change your eye dominance. It's possible. Yes. So imagine if you're right-handed and you 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 find out you are left eye dominant, mm -hmm. and then you train everything to do left-handed, and yeah. done in, in through in, in three months you're right. And so you change back. It's uh, yeah, especially when you keep both eyes open when you don't aim. It doesn't matter because you see the the target picture as a whole, and in your brain adapts to it. So that's why. You know. Um, uh, Howard Hill had a left dominant eye mm -hmm. and was a right-handed archer. Mm -hmm. And because of that, and, and also because I'm also left eye dominant, uh, I wrote to John Schultz, mm -hmm. who knew Howard Hill. And uh, there was a picture of Howard Hill, John Schultz, and John Schultz's brother, I don't know, James, or I don't know. Mm -hmm. And he had a, you know, an eye clip, like mm -hmm. a parrot, yeah. with right eye. Yeah. And you could see he everything he wear and the bow, he was a right-handed archer. Mm -hmm. So I wrote to John Schultz, it's 20 years ago, I said, if uh, if he lost this eye uh, before and changed or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, he lost the eye and was as good an archer, right eye dominant and right-handed right archer. Uh, he said he never get really that good he was before, mm -hmm. but he was an exceptional archer mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah. So I believe John Schultz, I believe in what our deal is done. Yeah. So yeah. No, yeah. no problem with that. Mm -hmm. I, I would say. Mm. Okay. The only sense is what you mentioned, if you are going to to be an Olympic archer, if that's your wish and your way, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe you should change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Maybe should, you should change to traditional archery. <laughs> no. This is the only, this is the appropriate change. So you have to change, change you don't change your shooting side. Yeah, when you come yeah. to traditional archery, you learn how to shoot left and right handed. So that's why it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. For me, the bow is a weapon and I always like to be capable of Handling my weapon Handy with both hands. Yeah. So that's why yeah. it yeah. makes only sense to shoot both handed. Uh, because you talked about sights, uh, I don't know if you know it. Uh, for rifles, mm -hmm. they had uh, in German, they, it's called Krüppelschaft. Mm -hmm. I think you would translate to crooked stock. Mm -hmm. Okay. They had a, a bent stock. Mm -hmm. So the guy had the rifle on his right shoulder, but mm -hmm. aimed with the left eye, also because of this eye mm -hmm. dominance and mm -hmm. stuff. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fine. Good. Domination, eye domination, done. Uh, and dominance in, in common. So, I don't know, there are, there are lots of ideas to have with dominance. And no, no, we don't, we don't go there. Devoutness. <laughs> We don't go there now. No, no, no. <laughs> so, next thing was an anchor point, right? Okay, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I started with simply because I saw that people put the middle finger to the corner of their mouth. I would start like that uh, with the word anchor point. Yeah. And why it is called anchor point? Because if you anchor something, it's it's like it's straight, it's like that. It mm -hmm. don't move. It's this is the anchor. Mm -hmm. this, the ship can't move because yeah. it's anchored. Mm -hmm. So to, just to keep that in mind, anchor point. Yeah, that's that's where you yeah. something anchor. solid, something not moving, it's something static and not dynamic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for three finger throw, I completely agree with that. Even if you, even when you see John Schultz shooting, he shoots there and boom and let's go. But he still has his, it's a split of a second yeah, anchor yeah. point and then yeah. he lets go. Yeah. So yeah. fine. Yeah. John Schultz has this, uh, such a good release technique. Yeah. You can't see, you can't yeah. see the arrow come off. It's like one fluid, mm -hmm. wonderful, wonderful. 
So, but what's the benefit of having the middle thing in the corner of the mouth and not, let's say, this anchor here or whatever for instinctive or traditional uh, theory? In my opinion, if you anchor here on your chin, it it it's it comes from target archery, from Olympic mm -hmm. archery, yeah. because you produce a high shot mm -hmm. because you anchor low. The arrow is pointing upward mm -hmm. for you because when you put the bow down here, you would show it don't works. Mm -hmm. Then the bow would be out of your sight line, mm -hmm. line of sight. Yeah. So that's from target archery. Okay, mm -hmm. you can do it. I don't know if you train just like that, you can do it, no problem. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, then you have to have some kind of anchor here. This is yeah, exactly, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that's not, I think the index finger or the middle finger, the corner of the mouth, yeah, yeah. just which one you like, just always use then the You only need always to have the same facial expressions. This is what I always tell the people, you need to smile, then your anchor point is a little further back because when you look grumpy, the anchor point is lower and then you might miss the target. <laughs> In some old photographs, when I used to shot very heavy bows, mm -hmm. uh, I was like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't draw the bow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to touch my lips. And, mm -hmm. yeah. But one, one reason why, or what, I, what my understanding is, that you have the middle thing in the corner of your mouth, because when you draw the arrow back there, I have I anchor now here. And when I look at the target, the arrow lines up with my right eye. So if yeah. I look down, I see the arrow exactly from above. Also with the eleva elevation and so. Yeah. So wherever I point now, the arrow yeah. will go. So if I draw now, let's say to my ear, and point yeah. at the target, then the arrow will go there. If I draw yeah. uh, extreme, nobody does it, but I draw here, then the yeah. arrow will go over there. Simple. So that's yeah. why Very you, have you have to, the arrow exactly below okay. the right eye. Exactly. And that's yeah. my, you, even yeah. if you don't aim over the arrow, but you still line it up because it's part of your peripheral vision. And it's, makes sense. it's part of, of your, uh, how to say it, uh, how you, how you, uh, your whole body position, mm. it's a fixed body position. Yeah. And, and uh, if you, yes, and you draw exactly in line back here, the arrow is exactly aligned to the target. Right up under the there's one more thing. Uh, you have to count the bow. Of course. The draw hand has the exact same angle and also That's your head. Exactly. Your head has to be tilted. You can't shoot. No. I see so many pictures and archers who shoot like that. Uh, it's horrible. Always. You're not in line with your target. You have to be like that, like a fighter, in my opinion. Bow, not the bow and the face always need to have the same angle. So when yeah. you don't have this, it doesn't work. And even the hand. Yeah. And this is all lined up, then your life is easier. When you work against it, of course, it's a little harder. And there's one more trick. I think I got mm -hmm. it from uh, Chi uh, Fred Esper or so. Uh, when you're using the hill swing draw mm -hmm. methods, when you're coming up with the with the bow from here yeah. and you're shooting, uh, it's very easy if you train it that the, the arrow is always in line with the target when you come up. Yeah, like. The arrow comes up, mm -hmm. it's exactly aligned to the target. Yeah. Yeah. But for, crucial for this is simply your left shoulder, your bow arm shoulder. When the, the shoulder yeah. points to the target, everything is nice and easy. When the shoulder points away, you have this, this reference point is missing. So this is, or if there is a secret, this is what I always say is the, the bow shoulder. When this one doesn't directly look at the target, you have, yeah. you have a hard time. That's, that's uh, why I, I said it before, always uh, recommend, try to turn your butt to the target. Yeah, but what, what many people do, instead of turning the body, they simply roll the shoulder inwards. Uh, that's and now, now the shoulder looks at the target and then they stand like this Olympic archers, they have the shoulder up there like this too. And this is what I don't, I don't know. Yes, yeah, because they anchor in a different way and so, yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, yeah, different. Uh, yeah, and uh, if you're exercising or doing training, repeat every shot you didn't reach your anchor point properly. Don't yeah. 
<laughs> you have to say, oh, okay, I hit the target, but it was not okay. Doesn't help. Only the perfect shot. And when you practice and you perform a bad shot, it still goes into your muscle memory. So that's why only yeah. the perfect performed shot yeah. makes sense. And always that's why only three arrows at a time, you know, and all this, yeah. everything has a reason. Everything is a purpose and it helps you become a better archer. And that's why you shouldn't celebrate if you hit the target exactly. out of a number of mistakes. Exactly. You should say, no, that's not good. I hit the target, but it's not good. It's, it's and not, make not, another not even not good, simply accept what is and, and continue your training. This is uh, both when you tell, oh, that was bad, or that was, uh, you distract your mind. You simply stay focused and shoot and shoot. Okay, that was a little off. Okay, 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 boom, boom, boom. And if, you know, uh, when we talk about uh, bow hunting, for example, mm -hmm. you know, bow hunting, you are nervous, you're everything. Uh, but if your body is aligned the right way, mm -hmm. if you have your position and you're perfectly, perfectly aligned, mm -hmm. then it doesn't matter if you don't draw full because you're nervous and you release here. Mm -hmm. If you have a powerful bow, it doesn't matter. Of course. But if your alignment is okay, you will hit the target. But in exercising and training, you always have to yeah. reach your anchor point. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree with anchor point. I just did a video about when you shoot thumb release and you draw longer. I always tell people you have an anchor point here, but you don't anchor. Because what happens is when you anchor, look at my elbow, tick, I anchor. You see that? I go back, tick, now I anchor, and now I collapse. Mm -hmm. Then you're weak, and then your release will be bad. So you're holding your, your string with your head? <laughs> no, no, you draw back until you almost reach what they call anchor point, and then you crawl simply a little back, 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 and then you let go. So for me, it's not an anchor point, it's the release point. It's a moment you draw there, half an inch before, you draw very slow, but you continue drawing, and then you let go when you reach your release point. So that's why I don't want to call it anchor point, because you don't anchor. So you, it's, it's, a, it's a dynamic, very slow, but you still move, so it's not an anchor anymore. Yeah. Uh, uh, many people who watched Howard Hills mm -hmm. uh, clips and John Schultz and so on, they think they don't anchor because uh, they, they uh, are so, so they uh, do it so nice, so so precise, uh, yeah. preci precisely, precise. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. You don't, you don't, uh, did, you don't see that they are anchoring, yeah. but they do it. Of they course, it, but very fast. Yeah, this is what I have with. I have a few online students from my Patreon program, and some of them they they sent me then the first video, and then <laughs> I said so, and I'll do the same five times slower. And then the same with slow motion. I said, no, no, I don't want to see a slow motion. You need to do it very slow. Because yeah. when you can't do it slow, you can't do it fast. When and you speed up speed before speed. you can do it, yeah. you, you make mistakes. It's like when you start playing guitar and you try to be already fast, you make mistake over mistake. When you do it very slow, very slow, very slow, speed comes natural. And here the same. You need to feel your anchor and then you let go. Over time, this will, will be always quicker, 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 but you know what you're doing. When you only copy what you see on a YouTube video and you don't know what they're doing, oh, oh, hey, I'm so good, I'm so good, and they don't have any anchor, and then it's like it's not crap. Play or so. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not the thing. Uh, uh, when you, I don't know how to say, you just can speed up a technique or a movement you have learned slowly, very exactly and very precisely mm -hmm. then you can speed this up and yeah. the guys they are watching shooting like that they started slow of course. and they perfectionated their mm -hmm. their technique, technique and then slow. you get faster and one thing i like to mention because it, it's it's matching this discussion uh look when i'm shooting with my back quiver mm -hmm. The shoot, the shot starts when I'm in position, when mm -hmm. my body is aligned, and mm -hmm. then I drew out my arrow. And that's mm -hmm. that's 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 part of the shot. Mm -hmm. So what I want to say is 
it's a kind of rhythm you have to get in. And if you have this rhythm, is it one, two, three, bam, yeah. like that, mm -hmm. then you can speed it up. Yeah. But the worst thing, they're going to the shooting line or to the post in the ground, you know, mm. and, and then they they fumble around yeah, and yeah, yeah. put the arrow on the yeah. string and then they shoot mm. that story, but that you can't hit. This is luck. This is I, I mean, only look at every month, look at karate. Why do they learn katas, you know? Because you need to get it in. And this is the same. It's like yeah. like a kata, you know, like from karate, you grab it, you knock it, you throw, you shoot, you grab it, you knock it. You... It's yeah. always the same. And as you said, it's the rhythm is very important, especially for your muscle memory. Once you have this rhythm, you can always go back to it. So even if you're distracted, you no, no, now you're automatically in your rhythm. And you, you will do it automatically. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. It yeah. helps a lot, but of course you need to do it first. And as I said, when you can't do it slow, you can't do it fast. Yeah, yeah. You can start with fast, with speed shooting. Oh, yeah. talking about talking about speed shooting. Do we need to mention something from the last video? We had some some critics. They said that it's obvious that the video of Jeff was slowed down, that he didn't shoot five arrows in one second. So he slowed it down so we can see some. <laughs> Uh, he, he, he sped it up. I mean, he sped it up. I, sped it up. I know, I know. Just, oh my just God. It's, it's already late. And I don't know. Uh, in my, my impression was that he's an honest guy. I don't know. And on the other okay. side, what, and, what good would it do for him if yeah. he would cheat now? Yeah. And he, if he's going to that uh, Guinness world record, exactly. it would yeah. turn out. Exactly. I mean, as we, as we said before, all the, the, the things, they come out sooner or later, you know, all, all these, when you do something wrong, so you can't hide forever. Yeah. So I think that he did it in, in this one second. But of course, I, I when you look, when you watch this video a few times, I don't know, it could look like he sped it up. It's when when he finished when he's finished shooting, it looks like everything is. I don't know. I don't. Know. I mean, on the other side, when you see some martial artists when they when they perform in Wing Chun, when they shoot, you know, they brrr, and then, you know when they come back, yeah. looks yeah. kind of the same. So that's why yeah. I, for now, trust yeah. Jeff. And uh, after all, uh, <clears throat> I trust people. <laughs> yeah. For usually I trust people until mm. a, 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 an opposite thing or something is proven. I trust people, okay. and and it was a wonderful talk with Jeff, and he's an honest guy. And he's yep. training, as he said, at night and day and eight hours yeah. and so yeah. on. So you can do things we can't mm. imagine. Yeah, and you only get with training so far. I mean, if another one starts now and wants to shoot, of course it doesn't work. For him, it works because he practices every day, six to eight hours. And then no matter which martial art you practice or whatever you practice, if you uh, practice five hours or six hours every day playing guitar, you will be good in no time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why, yeah. <clears throat> There's a funny episode. <clears throat> I don't know if you know this uh, stage magician, Penn and Teller. I heard from them, but I never the saw them. The guy and the small guy, mm -hmm. and they are in Las Vegas doing their shows and so very nice mm -hmm. guys. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, they started making this, you know, this cup game with the three mm -hmm. cups. Yeah. And the first time ever, uh, one magician did it on stage with transparent cups. <laughs> so all the other magicians were horrified. Said, you can't do it with transparent cups. All mm -hmm. the people will see what you're doing and what's mm -hmm. the trick and so on. And they did it with transparent cups. And I watched it and, and many people watched it. If one trains this very good, yeah. it doesn't matter if the cups are transparent or not. Mm. You don't find out how he is doing that mm. stuff mm -hmm. because they are so fast and so yeah. and mm. Maybe it's like that. Yeah. We have never trained this. And we look and we say, oh, that's mm. impossible. That has mm. to be speeded up. I don't mm. know. 
Okay. I mean, but it's the same when you watch some guitar players, like oh, the, the, I've forgotten his name again, Spanish guitar player, and he plays yeah. incredibly fast. And I was like, how the hell is this possible that you move your fingers so fast? Or these, or these step dancers and so yeah. yeah. You know, the step dancers, mm -hmm. like Big Crosby, and the yeah. you can't imagine that a person is able to do it. Yeah. 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 It's a simple matter of practice. Yeah. Yeah. That's why for now, Jeff is And up. if you are training just that thing, mm. and I have to agree, of course, uh, he has to be able, he must be able to shoot faster than a guy using knocks because the crucial part is the knocking. Yeah. So That's where you're fumbling he around. Saves time. He saves a lot of time because he doesn't need to knock, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And maybe that's also one point that people can imagine that yeah. he can be so fast. Yeah, but then, of course, they will tell you, but you can't shoot this way then with a heavy poundage bow. Yes, most probably not. Yeah. And he never said yeah. that it's historically it's something proven. He simply said that he wanted to shoot as fast with bow and arrow as the other guy with his gun did. So that's why, that's all. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, I appreciate that a lot, and I like this a lot. It's another way of archery, yeah, exactly. yeah, and exactly. it's fine. And you can do armory with this kind of bow, and you can do this and that. Mm. He is training this thing, this trick. Yeah. And if it's just a 15 pound bow, it's a 15 pound bow. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. When he stands on a stage, if he would do it on a stage, imagine he shoots five arrows in one second, and whatever in some kind of target, people would go crazy seeing this life. Yeah, yeah. So would be imagine if he has five balloons there. Exactly. Buff, 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 buff. And you hear like, tut, 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 tut. it's yeah. awesome. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, that's why. Like that, you know, that electric mini gun, you know, this, 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 yeah, yeah, gun, the, the, this rotating the gun. gun. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's the old one, and the new ones are the, the, the mini guns, you know, they are the, it's the same system, but back then the Gatling was cranked. Was mm -hmm. cranked yeah, now they are electric. Mm -hmm. I love them. Mm -hmm. I saw some footage, and you know, the, the empty cartridge shells, mm -hmm. they fell out like water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, I like yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fancy weapons. Okay. Uh, but we were came a bit off now again with speed. So practice very slow. This is what I tell all my students. I have now a new one. He sent me a video and directly shooting fast. So look, send me the next video three times slower. Do everything very slow, and then I see what you're doing. Otherwise, I'm not even capable of seeing, you know, when he does it yeah. so fast and on a video is hard. But one thing I like to say, mm -hmm. uh, many, many people are making, in my opinion, uh, a mistake. Uh, don't anchor too long. Mm -hmm. The no. very moment you reach your anchor point, don't check back, don't think about it. Just release. Yeah. If your body is aligned, if everything is okay, you raise the bow, you throw, tack, yeah. release. But you need, to, you need to feel your anchor point, but you don't stay there. It's a thing yeah. for less than half a second and then let go. Yeah. And once again, never look away from the target. Mm. From the, not from the target, from the very... From the, from the center point. And this is one thing with the jumping mind that they, they stand and then the, the eye jumps somewhere. You can see it sometimes. They said, listen, I told you, only look at your target. Don't even blink. Yeah, I was looking. No, you were not in the moment before you let go. They look somewhere. As there's some, I don't know what is going on. Maybe it's a virus. Ooh, okay. It's the archer virus, the target panic virus. <laughs> we don't know. Now, that's important, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very important. And then the release. I think the release is something you can practice and train for months and months until you get it right. What is your secret for us uh, or how you can achieve a smooth and, and, and good release? Or let's say a good release. I don't know. The only thing is you have to relax your fingers yeah. and, and stay on your face or like you do, stay where you are. Don't move forward or sideways or back or something. Mm -hmm. John Schultz and that guy say it's all the draw and the anchor point and the release is one backward motion. Yeah. So never 
they say it like that, never stop to draw. Mm -hmm, exactly. If you reach your anchor point, yeah. you're losing your form because yeah. you're okay now at the anchor point and now mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to release. Yeah. Never stop to draw. Draw back, draw back, draw back, and then tuck. Mm -hmm. And this draw is, back your this cheek. Is, yeah, this is what I just explained with in Stay our Stay as close at, at, at your cheek as mm -hmm. you can. Yeah. Draw back your cheek and then mm -hmm. release. Yeah. And if I think I think if you if you uh, think about never stop to draw, mm -hmm. your release will be smooth because yeah. your elbow will go back and then yeah. you yeah, yeah. your fingers release. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some simply force the release, or they they I need to let go, and then you see the hand snapping backwards. So and then there was a, tension in the hand. That's a mental issue. Yeah, because they, or they, they are afraid. I have a I have a sum. I don't know where they learned it from. They told me we we shoot like this. They put the string on the on the first uh, joint of their fingers, not in the grooves. Yeah. And then of course when you draw there, something then your whole fingers get stiff. On my side when I put yeah, the string, you you yeah. have a, a, a terrible lever here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but when I started archery. Uh, the target shooters draw like that. They had the, the string here in front of the of the joint. But yeah. uh, you, you get a whole stiff hand and then these knuckles show. This is what I always tell, look, as long as these knuckles show out here, it's strong. So flat hand, yeah, flat yeah. hand. Like I don't this. know if you shoot three fingers, uh, John Schultz and also Howard Till gave the advice, uh, put the thumb on Together. your... Yeah. Little finger, it's like, the, yeah. like the Boy Scouts, mm -hmm. <laughs> and they also said you have a better release if you do yeah. it. I don't do it, I but I have it like that. Yeah. Now the less use, yeah. don't use just the the, the tip of your, your mm. uh, index finger or middle finger. Yeah. You you can't be hollow there. You know you have to be on your cheek. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, when you put these two fingers together, my God, if you would look at the camera once. The thing is, what some people do when you tell them do this, then they overdo it, and then they get this rounded hand, and then they, you can't yeah. achieve anything yeah. anymore. So they simply point <laughs> towards each other or touch each other slightly. Uh, you can go smooth. Something, back. something com comes into my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, Beginners often do it. Uh, they draw, and the the last two one inch mm -hmm. of the draw, they they pull with the fingers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? They draw. Yeah, and, yeah. and then they make a fist. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I always say, yes, you have to look. This is a hook like that, and mm -hmm. it's you mm -hmm. can't draw at the last moment like that, mm -hmm. so you reach the corner of your mouth. Yeah. But it's a very common mistake. And then, of course, you have a very bad release because you... Yeah. And they can't release. Out. It doesn't work. Yeah. Look, I moved and I only have one arrow here. Mm. <laughs> That's a nice one. <laughs> oh, you know what it is? Mm. It is part of a cold steel Samburu spear. Ah, okay, yeah. That's a dangerous thing, I tell you. It's mm -hmm. razor sharp. Mm -hmm. I used to to throw them at, at uh, hay targets or straw targets and mm -hmm. so wow that's power <laughs> Very heavy. Mm -hmm. and it's a takedown you have the shaft mm -hmm. here you have the shaft yeah and then oops, you have the steel back mm -hmm. wow it's a horrible thing yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. Wow. They used to hunt lions with. But I think like fun to play with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so the, the weapon of the day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't kill yourself or the microphone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. I got it from Mike Sarnitz. You know him? He was a trainee at, at, at Bear Archery mm -hmm. back then in the early 80s. He's an mm -hmm. Austrian guy. 
Okay. And his parents had a big uh, ammunition and 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 gum, uh, but how is it? distribution? Not mm -hmm. a, a, a shop, but a distributor, mm -hmm. a, a wholesaler mm -hmm. in German. Mm -hmm. And now he's still in karate and makes his his trophies in karate and so and mm -hmm. martial arts and archery and so on mm -hmm. and. One time I visited him in a very, in Vienna, he invited me, uh, a very big a house. And we thought, oh, it's a house in Vienna, you know, some, mm -hmm. some stores. Mm -hmm. And in the backside was a, a garden as big as a, a football playing field. <laughs> you know, where one, one square meter costs about... <laughs> 5,000 euros or so, yeah, 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 yeah. Here, the wow. big garden and the swimming pool. And in the swimming pool was a tomahawk lying in the, on the ground. So what have you done? Oh, I tried something. And then he had a kind of uh, a rack where these spears, mm -hmm. some of the spears. And mm -hmm. said, what are you doing? Oh, let's go back to the jungle office. He had jungle office. He had some camping gear there and this, and then we threw the spears and so mm -hmm. I said, take one yeah. with you. <laughs> nice guy. He's on Facebook. Great guy. Nice. Great guy. Mm -hmm. He was in Africa hunting all big five and so. Mm -hmm. But he said they shot them with, with how, how you call it, uh, narcotic arrows. <laughs> I said, hey, you were a shadow. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. Mm -hmm. Still nice. nice, interesting guy. Mm -hmm. Sorry, away from uh, again. No, okay. from, uh, the, what is the last point? The follow through. Yeah, but after the release, because there is again now. I mentioned it before. When you see some, and there are a few well-known instructors in Germany, they tell you even in traditional instinctive archery, you stand there, and when you let go. You, you you force your elbow back and you tap with your fingers on your shoulder and this is the their way and this is the only way they teach and when, I don't know when I do this I I don't I don't do it so how do I you Ferguson do does it yeah 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 not yeah. not too express not too extensive but he yeah. does yeah I mean I go I go back to when I let go my hand goes kind of whatever like a little alongside and and disappears. A little behind my head, but I don't tap here my shoulder right because I, um, as we said, maybe it's not a too bad idea mm. because we talked before about it offline. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a kind of indicator if you touch your shoulder, yeah. you know you have done it right mm. because you can't see yourself. Yeah. So if you're just doing that, it, oh, have I done it right or not or wrong? How do you how do you do it? What's your what's your follow through? Uh, that's one of my weak uh, spots. I I uh, I'm I'm not drawing in the elbow far enough. Mm -hmm. uh, often you see it on my pictures, even mm -hmm. on the picture um, behind you, mm -hmm. the elbow is way too mm -hmm. far forward. Yeah. But yes, I'm still yeah. learning. <laughs> yeah, we all learn no worries and what I always tell the people don't think about bringing your hand to your anchor point because then they draw with this arm muscle and when they let go you see that the hand goes yeah. away from the head it shows only that they use the arm I always you say, roll back the draw shoulder you think about your elbow the elbow goes back and then the muscles do the job you don't have to think yeah. about it you know? simply bring the elbow back until you're here and then let go and the elbow wants, of course, to go back yeah. because you have this, after the release, you, the, the, you want to do this. So that's why it's okay to let the hand go a little back. It's fine. Then. The shoulder will do the job and yes. the will do the job. The thing is only when you overdo it, when you force it, then the left hand responds to it. Yeah. You know, when, then both hands go, or both elbows go, shoulders go back. Yeah. So... When you force it, it doesn't work. You need to let it simply happen because there is tension and you let this tension simply happen, but you don't force it. Maybe that's an issue for the next uh, broadcast. 
people are talking and, and philosophizing a lot about uh, anchor point and release and follow through and that's kind of oh it's very mental and so mm. on but they don't talk a lot about your bow hand and your mm. bow arm yeah and if the anchor point that release and that or all that stuff is very important mm -hmm. then it's twice as important it was your left arm is doing mm -hmm. because that's the arm which is holding mm -hmm. the bow into the target yes this is for me the anchor point your first anchor is the bow hand in the target the second anchor is if you yeah. want yeah. this is how yeah. i teach yeah. when we teach those i said always this is the first one and this is the second one and then let go and this yeah. one doesn't move yeah, yeah. yeah. and and it's like rifle shooting or or, so, or like the or gun shooting. The very moment you release your bow arm, your shoulder, nothing should move. Mm. There should be no moving part but yeah. your fingers. Yeah. And the string goes out and the arrow hits a big buck. <laughs> mm. Or a, 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 a banana or a mm. melon. Or no, melon. Yeah, we should have melons. They're a little bigger than bananas. French fruits. Hey, hey, hey. you like fruits. Come on. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah. Because I like fruit too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's all. There's nothing more to it. And the rest is, as we said already, practice, practice, practice every day, a bit if possible. There's nothing, okay. nothing mysterious. It's you not. Just have to it's not. Drop it's back. not Exactly, it's not rocket science. What I always tell, it's nothing overly complicated. They do it since ten thousands of years, so it's nothing new. It's already proven. Don't invent something. Don't think you need to invent your own stuff. First, learn it properly, and then you can create your own style. I mean, not everybody should exactly mechanically shoot the same because we're all different. So you first need to learn what they want to do, that you understand the principles, and then you shoot in your own style. That's fine. We are, not, we are not really different. Yeah, a little, of course. We have two know. arms, a head. Yeah, <laughs> so but still, fine details are still different. Yeah. Yeah, shoulders, yeah, further, whatever. Like put your pinky. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's important. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I, have, I have tea with the queen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, mates. <laughs> no, it's like it's like in the martial lot. Of course, you study first one, like, like Tai Chi. I studied the young style, the short form. And then, of course, you try to get it as close as possible to what your master or whatever you, whom you follow do it. But yeah. later on, it will be your own style. So it's not his style anymore. And it's not the one who invented this style. You, you make it personal. Uh, there's a, a good thing about that. Uh, you can copy everything. Yeah. Because when you are doing it, it's different. Yeah, exactly. I got it. Uh, I got this this stuff from uh, uh, an acting school mm -hmm. from Michael Caine. Mm -hmm. He said, "If you see a move or something, an, another actor doing something cool, mm -hmm. you can do it. You can copy it because if you are doing it, it's different." Yeah, exactly. And and it's the same. Mm -hmm. and, the best way is to copy a master because you will do it different, but you will have a good style yeah, if exactly. you try to copy the master. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And, and regarding back to no anchor point and nothing at all, then I think we really need to invite Lars Andersen. And then because yeah. he doesn't use any kind of anchor point, reference points, he doesn't care about is the shoulder up or down. These are all things he doesn't care at all. And, and still hits an arrow flying through the air and stuff like this so maybe we are all wrong or we we, we are maybe too too uh, narrow i mind. think i think uh look I if look? you're making this stuff repeatedly on and on and on like i said about Hart Hill, mm -hmm. he was of course he was able to hit on this stage distances and so mm. he if he draw the bow like that without mm -hmm. anchoring, he was able to hit it and, mm -hmm. and here, back there, and so mm -hmm. no, 
like knife throwing. If you mm. can do it, you can throw it from beneath mm. or like that or like mm. that. You have a feeling for in this exact uh, mm. scenery, in this for this distance with your equipment, mm -hmm. you can do a lot of things. Mm. And it's like, like you say, like throwing a stone, of course, it doesn't matter if you hold the head like that or like mm. that. Mm -hmm. If you do it a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like John Wayne when he shot with his Winchester out of his, his and on hip, you know, he held it down and boom, boom. Yeah. He killed all but, the boys. But you know, it's the same yeah. when you have the rifle here. Mm -hmm. It's the same if you have it here. If you do it often enough. It's the same with a bow and arrow. You can throw here, you can throw down there. It still yeah. works. But of course, it takes a lot, a lot of practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're you esoteric guy, as I am, say, mm -hmm. if you're one with your weaponry, if your weaponry is a part of yours, mm -hmm. if this is the Colt or the Winchester or the bow or the tomahawk, you can do things. Other people will look, oh, that's not possible. Mm -hmm. How can you hit it? Mm -hmm. But of course, you know, once I was in a, a fly fishing school, mm -hmm. I got lessons in fly fishing. Yeah. We had a trainer there, I think about 30 yards, he could he was able to place the fly on a like a cigarette packet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bam. That's not possible. <laughs> so yeah. It was. It yeah. was. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Just comes in my mind. We need to invite. Uh, I will ask Gordon. He lives in the UK and he does archery every day, but he does even knife throwing extra. He does with bull whips. Oh, yeah. And, and you can become very precisely with the bull whip. I saw yeah. the other one, he put a, a card between two bottles and he yeah. smacked well, this card away. Back then in the old days, they used to do to, to, to mm -hmm. yeah, figure it out yeah. and so on. I, 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 this is one thing I'm, I'm, I think I would like to try once and, and with a whip. Interesting. Yeah. I have a friend, uh, Francesco Martini, he's German, <laughs> I think from your area where you are from. And he's a, a guy like that. He's doing this stuff. And also, you know, he's a Western guy with mm -hmm. lasso right, and okay. bull whip and mm -hmm. bolts and mm -hmm. so on. And maybe you get connected. He knows a lot about this. He's, mm -hmm. he's also doing this on stage. Okay. Nice, nice thing. Mm -hmm. nice yeah, thing. I think a bull whip is a horrible weapon if mm -hmm. the guy is able to use it. Yeah, like course. Indiana Jones. Or yeah, so. This is, just wanted to say, since Indiana Jones, every boy want to have a whip of course it's but you know indiana jones they had it from old black and white western movies mm -hmm. where guys were with this bull whip and mm -hmm. making the same stuff mm -hmm. they were like we said they copied it and and yeah. it was new and they were all oh, bull whip great <laughs> yeah, yeah. it was long ago before mm -hmm. of course yeah. it's nothing new obviously but to give it to a different character and yeah. he does something and he yeah. uses it in a bit different way. It makes sense. And it's cool. So this is one thing I might want to learn in the future. Pull yeah. Mm. And like many of these, this, I don't know how, how to call it, this kind of weapons, uh, they are underestimated. Yeah. If you see a guy with a bull whip, yes, mm. because you are, uh, since Indiana chose the people, we think, oh, that's dangerous, maybe. Mm -hmm. But if you don't think about it, you don't yeah. like it's a whip, okay? Yeah. Can make a loud noise because you always see it in a circus. Yeah. Whoosh, you know, whatever. And, oh, okay, it's, it's loud, but... Uh, yeah. yeah. A lot of these weapons are underestimated. Yeah. It's good like this. <laughs> because when you have one, you know... <laughs> yeah. But I don't know where you to get a really good one. Uh, I need to ask Gordon. We invite him to the show. Maybe he wants to join. He's, he's a really interesting Yeah, we can guy. talk about it. That would Dr. Be Atmo Archery, he is in the UK. And he he's, he's one of these guys. He never had a face mask on. So if people are upset about oh. this, please don't watch it. Stay away. Stay away. No, you you I've should never heard about that that Britain virus uh, oh. uh, mutation Mut mutation. Okay, no, but you need to simply put a glass in front of your computer. In front of the whip. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This is yeah. So what can I do? You know, a, a kind of 
Yeah, so plastic glass. Yeah. But then I can't type. I have to type like. That. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, you can't type anymore. You need to make it in a different way. Then, yeah. Mm. Uh, maybe you need an assistant to type. Uh, yeah, but the assistant can have viruses again. No, you need to speech to 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 type. You know, you say something and your computer does it. I'm, I'm more old school with the blonde secretary. Oh, yeah, 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 with the nice in their glasses and they put the glasses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, master. <laughs> yes, you want one or two sugar in your coffee? Oh, yeah, 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 I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good, good. One of okay. my favorite uh, uh, series is Mad Men, you know it? Mad Men? Mad Men. No. It's uh, it's uh, on uh, Amazon. You can find Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. It's uh, about an advertising uh, agency in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. And it's very old school, nice dress, and how it was with the secretaries and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. But it's really good. If you have Amazon Prime, watch it. I don't have. Really I don't have Netflix, you know, I don't have Amazon Prime. You can learn a lot. You can <clears throat> learn a lot from this serial <clears throat> because the main character has a wonderful body language. He's dominating all the situations, like like we talked before. Mm -hmm. And very nice. I send you a link with one uh, little clip out mm -hmm. of this, and you will see okay. it's great. Mm -hmm. Good tip, in my opinion. Okay, nice. And I'm very picky about cereals, really picky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would love to see a good cereal, but I, after 10 minutes, I say, okay, go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, with some series, I think you need to watch them for a while that you get uh, familiar with mm -hmm. the characters and you get into the stories and you know the, all the backgrounds and then you feel with them. And But this is way too much hassle for me, so I don't like all this. this I don't like it. Yes, uh, what I mean is mm. I switch away when when they start to be over emotional. No, when you start, when a guy starts crying, you need to switch. Main away. character has to be gay and the mm. patchwork family and his. Oh, yeah, so old school. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that's why I like that Mad Men stuff. Mm. Oh. It's called Mad Men because this, the, there were lots of, of advertising agencies on Madison Avenue in New York. Yeah, right? of course, was the time. And also because of Ad Men, like advertising, mm -hmm. Mad okay. Men, Ad Men, mm -hmm. Madison Avenue. That's a kind of mm -hmm. right way. Oh, it's very good. Yeah, 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 nice. Okay, so what we can do next? Oh, you, you invite the full whip guy? Yep. And and yes, how yes. about that? that uh, how is it called? That martial arts guy, Jeff's friend. We talked before. I don't. I, I don't remember the name. Jeff's friend. Who says you are the master? The one guy who says you are the master. I'm not a no, no. I don't know. We Miguel? talked before. We talked offline about it. I might... He wrote you. Oh well, my big Dalai Lama. In my, uh, you are the biggest guy. You are my master. I think you you mix something up, not me. No, 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 no. From Jeff? A friend of Jeff. Miguel? From let Puerto Rico? Look. Let me look. Yeah, we can invite him once. It's surely interesting. Uh, but I don't know whom you're talking about. Just a moment. Mm, well, we have time. We talked about him. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Mm, oh, this one I don't know. No. Like a survival guy or, or something. The, the, the... Our survivors arsenal or something. Yeah. Yes, survivors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, that's that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I will ask him too. We, 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 he lives in America, so we need to see how it works with the time, like with Jeff. And then we see. And, 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 and be charming with Petra. Yeah, always. And also with Jess. I think you, you said something pretty to her. So no, 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 no. She's busy. 
you know, she, she's just moved to New Zealand. Everything is new and she's busy connecting there with all these stunt horse people and stuff. So she is a little, her schedule is tight. It's fine. One day she will have time for us and it's fine. Busy cat. Hmm? A busy cat. Yeah, a busy cat. Mm -hmm. Busy cat, busy cat, I love you. <laughs> I should have given you this tea, you know, which smells a lot like rum. <laughs> What's new, PC kit? Lock What's it? Not, not PC kit. Busy kit. Busy. Busy with a B. Busy. Not PC. Yeah. <laughs> not where, where is your pussy pot? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're the stuff I have, I have only sniffing. natural Thai herbs here. Yeah, yeah. They smell really, really good. He's, he's always sniffing that pussy smell. Oh, it is Thai herbs. But what little you know, huh? Yeah. I hope it's organic and not something chemical. And you know about because of the climate change, you know? Mm -hmm. Of course. Or it is made out of tigers. No, no, I think there are no tigers in it. I, I didn't hear anything roar, so it was silent. So I think. <laughs> mm. No, and there's, there's more like a bird on it or something as a logo. I don't know. Wait a second. Tiger pussy smell. <laughs> oy, 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 oy. It's so really late. Oh, okay. I think it's better we stop now. It's better we stop now. The question is if a virus doesn't go through a computer, should we try an arrow through a computer? <laughs> I can do I, I'm I'm I, I'm safe because Bill Gates, I'm sure he vaccinated Windows. So um, Windows can't get any viruses anymore since mm. Bill Gates is yeah. to vaccinations. Yeah, but I mean, what for me is obvious, Bill Gates is not a, a virus person, neither with a computer in the first place, nor with human viruses. What he is, he is a developer of an operating system yeah. for a computer. Yeah. And he is now into putting things into human bodies, but he is still yeah. a developer of operating systems. So I, I told you once already what I see coming in maybe the far future, not in the near future, that human will be controlled in a different way. We will, uh, the, you know, it's a very nice vision of the future is what in Star Trek are the Borg, the Borg. I don't know. They are half individual, half organic, and half or more than half uh, artificial. Mm -hmm. And they have a collective brain, mm -hmm. like the internet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just Google it, Borg. OK. Which, yeah, I mean, this the collective brain or something is fine as long as it's not controlled. I would have no problem with it. I mean, we are all connected to the in different ways to a, a collective brain. That's not, not a big thing. Imagine if everyone will know what you would know what in your dirty mind is going on. No, nothing. I don't like it. Nothing. I have nothing to hide, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Keen's brain. <laughs> yeah, somebody oh, has to be a role model here. Yeah. A new big business for Bill Gates, the, the, keen, the, the brain cleaner. Yeah, of course. You just have to take a sip and... and, and oh, you, 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 they do it in this way. Yeah. Like or with so. these little bullets you put in your, you know, when you're... Six. You know, how, how are they called? I don't know. Zepchen. Yes, Zepchen. Mm -hmm. When you're ill, you can... Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I think your brain is something pretty... Mm -hmm. yeah, but which, how much sense does it make when you push it on up your back when it, you should... You know, when you have headaches and you take something back in your, you know, should... Yeah, it's fine. They do it, no? I don't know. But I have no idea. I'm not into medicine. I, like, uh, I, I don't take medicine, I don't know, since... I don't know, 30 years or something, yeah, I don't the, think anything. Just a tiger smell. You this know. is not medicine. These are herbs and I smell them. I don't swallow anything. Medicine is herbs. 
Yeah, but I don't swallow them. So I drink tea. This is maybe herbs too, or something yeah. in natural medicine. But I don't take. Okay, let's let's take it like this. I don't take any chemical medicines. No, but but if they smoke opioids or so, they also don't eat. <laughs> no, just, I have no problem. I have no problem with that. Not that I smoke, but that's fine. It's better than an aspirin, I guess. I mean, why do you think that by Byron Ferguson shoots aspirins? Because they're not good. <laughs> oh, so he's an anti pharmaceutical yes. He could shoot these 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 small uh, these tom -toms, these tom toms or whatever you know. They I've are just small. Okay. So there are so many things you could shoot, but now he shoots aspirin. Uh, think about that. Right, and now we have... against fire. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, except Byron against fire. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. no, no, talking. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's endangered. <laughs> fire. Uh, fire is in danger. Aspirin is fire. Yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, aspirin comes from, from, it was originally from plants. And I have it here. It's from the willow bark. Yeah. yeah. Willow bark oh. tree, the bark. Has these these natural things in I forgot the name now again, which helps you when you have headaches or whatever pain yeah. and flexing. If you're honest, most of the artificial medicines yeah. are copies of plants. Yeah, the thing is the the adaptation of the body. It's easy for the body to adapt something natural. Yeah. But it's not so easy to uh, something chemical and it will always end up in your kidneys in one way or the other. And then people wonder, I eh, have kidney stones, where do they come from? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Papa was a rolling but stone. If you avoid it, if you just take it, you know, uh, some years back then I had a terrible infection. I would have died without antibiotics mm -hmm. and so on. So in some yeah. cases you have to yeah. You, you remember, it's not too long ago, a lot of people died uh, because of, how is it called, that blind thumb? Mm -hmm. Appendix. Mm -hmm. Appendix infection. Mm -hmm. They've died just because of this little shit. Yeah. What can happen? I mean, yeah. on the other side, you know, when, when the time is here, the time is here. Is hey, come on. We don't live forever anyway, so why extend it for? <laughs> you like you like Bill Gates. You like to reduce the, the population. Oh, if his time is come, he should die. Yeah. That's not that's not that's not good. But okay. Maybe you're a reptilian too. No, check my eyes. If if my eyelids go like this, oh, like, this. like <laughs> Angela Merkel. <laughs> yeah. The German Nazi reptiloids. <laughs> the thing is, they are not the reptiloids. They are controlled by them. Yeah. Even worse. Mm. Yeah. 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 It's even worse. Yeah. And then you have this shape shifting that they sometimes and in some videos. Oh, videos, oh I'm horrified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? I have to put on my mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put it on. Yeah. Not that you get infected of my theories. Huh? Mm. <laughs> You infect me with your conspiracies. No, okay. Yeah, it is. It's a good thing, you know. At least it makes you start thinking, maybe. But I hate to sleep with the mask and the gloves, yeah. and the helmet, and the picture. Okay. But you know, the, the, the interesting thing is some or many people now see that some conspiracy theorists are not, not theories are not theories, they are facts. And now they go a little and say, okay, okay, this is a theory. Conspiracy. So then they start now with the theories, but everybody has a certain stop. Like yeah. you, you know, you say, ah, they don't eat babies and the reptilians is bullshit. Others simply have a more extended vision of these conspiracy theories. So, but it's simply you say until there and I don't go any further until somebody proves me wrong and then I might extend my, my vision in this direction. Until somebody proves you wrong, but you also have to say, if somebody proves you that they are reptilian yeah. and baby eating mm -hmm. and so on, it's in both. Yeah, of course, both, both ways. Yeah, but then you would say, okay, now I adapt this conspiracy theory to my things too. Now I believe that and then you go further. Yeah. And this is a rabbit hole which does not end. Yeah. That's why it's, it's an individual thing where you set your personal stop, yeah. what yeah. you can take and what not. And as I said in the past, uh, that all big 
conspiracies don't work. Mm. Like communism hasn't yeah. worked. Hitler's national socialism hasn't worked. Mm. Uh, uh, Klaus Schwab's? <laughs> Klaus Schwab's? The it tyranny? Will work. Work. Yeah. You see, in Switzerland, they had a, a kind of, of, of uh, election or voting and they voted against Greta's ideas yeah. and so on. So it don't work. So all the big conspiracies don't work. Mm. Think about the UNO. Mm. It's a kind of world government idea conspiracy, but it don't work. Mm -hmm. Because same thing, like I said about communism, because humans are involved. They have their own interests. They are not just straight and so, mm. so they don't work. Yeah, that's why maybe a lot of damage, of course. But that's why maybe this mind control, which is one of these theories, you know, with with an operating system, that's why you need to come every half year and get your new vaccination that you get an update of your operating system that's, might do the job that you get your, you know, your, your mind narrowed down and straightened out. It's very simpler. Hmm? It's way more simple because If you control the media, you don't need to put in a chip into yeah, it. Yeah, but how long do they do it? And there are still many, they, do they don't yes, run this they, way. Yes, but, but they do it, but the time is changing because mm. they have to step back because they can't censor everything, everything mm. and every okay. stuff. So same, the conspiracy to making Uh, censorism uh, or, 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 or how they call it, uh, mm. cancel culture, but it don't work forever. It don't mm. work for a short time and so, but yeah. it will mm -hmm. turn around. Yeah, that's why you need to That's why you need to have access to the brains. Because then you don't depend yeah. on yeah. what this yeah. information does in your brain. If you, how you perceive it, you, you have directly access to yeah. it. Yeah, yes, at least it, it makes it, sense. In, in, from the point of view of this elite, which wants to do that. And this, this mind control, this MK Ultra, yeah. that's true. That's not a conspiracy. They, yeah. they had experiments, they did it. Mm. And, yeah. Yeah. Back then it was a conspiracy. Now, today we know it was true. Yeah. Yeah. That's also why they, they, they experimented with all that drugs, you know, LSD and so on. It was part of this mind control stuff, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. The CIA had, <laughs> you know this, the CIA had, had whorehouses, you know, mm -hmm. bars with women. And, and uh, they, they sent people there. Mm -hmm. And it was run by the CA, and they gifted clients drugs and filmed them. And so on. Yeah, yeah. Very mm -hmm. interesting. But even in, in, in smaller scale, as, as I heard this in Germany from one of these multi level marketing, you know, they, they sell insurances and capital yeah, yeah, yeah. management. I know who you're, who you're talking about, I think. And, and the owner of it, he always invited his good ones and, you know, let's go one week Ibiza and whatever, let's have party, you know, your, your wife stays at home. And then, of course, he hired a few pretty girlies and then they always took videos of them. And then he said, so look what I have here. So if you don't play now my game, of course, I have to show this video, these photos to your wife. It's more simple. Mm. In fact... They, 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 they must not making pictures or movies. It, uh, it also works because all the involved folks there, that rich guys and, and businessmen, mm -hmm. they knew they knew that they were there and mm -hmm. did this and that. Mm -hmm. So if that guy said, "Oh come on, let's make this business," mm -hmm. he, he he must not show them a clip. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, they they. Yeah. Yeah. And the other guy knew, knows and so on. Mm. But he, he did yeah. just to make sure, you know, <laughs> as a backup. It's like like it was at the Mau Mau in Kenya. It was at the SS with, with the Nazis. When you're involved in horrible stuff, mm -hmm. then come on, kill one guy. See, it's nothing, mm. <laughs> nothing big. Okay. 
then you are part of that mm -hmm. game. Yeah. And, and, and they said, as, for example, that SS guys in the East, in Poland and so, they were horrible killers and mm -hmm. they came home, they were quite normal people. Yeah. Because they, they, it was an, an environment, mm -hmm. a community, like a tribe, Mm -hmm. And everyone knew what the other guy has done, and mm. they knew each other. And yeah. So it works. It's just human condition. It mm. works like that. Conditioning, yeah. 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 Mm, works. Okay. So. Good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Uh, Next week, we see that we have a uh, guest. Subscribe to my channel. Of course, subscribe to his <laughs> no, channel. To Amis, his. Of course. No, subscribe to Peter's <laughs> channel. It's fine. Give us some comments. Yeah, some thumbs up, some thumbs down, whatever you feel yes. like. Tell us what you like to say. Mm. We don't mind, just say it. <laughs> you can say whatever you like. If you use harsh language, you might be blocked we or feel. deleted, but you know. <laughs> You hmm? will get cancelled. We are part of the cancel culture. <laughs> no, it's it's simply we can discuss everything, but we still can have a culture in discussing things. It's nothing personal, so you don't need to use rude words. You know, it's not yeah. there is no need for it. Yeah. So if, yeah, yeah. And especially if you need to use rude words, most probably your arguments are not very strong. Otherwise, you know, why should somebody call you directly a Nazi or whatever, an anti-Semit? Because he has no arguments. He has nothing, yeah. no foundation or for, for, him, for him what he wants to say. That's why he comes with this rubbish. That's a new trick. That's a new mm. trick. If you mm. say, you oh, know, I don't believe in it. Oh, they, 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 they go after your person, yeah. not after your opinion, after your person. Mm. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite quotations which is very, uh, uh, it hits the, the time of today, the cancel mm -hmm. culture and that stuff mm -hmm. is from Idi Amin. Mm -hmm. said, I can guarantee you freedom of speech, mm -hmm. but not freedom after speech. <laughs> That's a good one. That's, yeah. That's wonderful. No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can say what you want. Mm -hmm. No problem. <laughs> but you need to take the, 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 the consequences then. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. You still have sunshine. It's still bright outside. So here it's already dark. Not, uh, not sunshine, but, yeah, it's, it's, but there's also a, a little light here. See, you see uh, but on, from the window, I see the light yeah, from the window. Yeah, so it's still yeah, because you're way more north than me. Yeah. Here it's already dark. Yeah, because you're in a dark environment. You're dark. Oh, I, I'm closer to the equator than you. It's simply uh, geographics, you know. I, but you, and the, you slept when you had geographics. You slept because you need to fit be fit when you had biology, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you're a dark boy, bad boy. So it's only dark. because I'm dressed dark doesn't mean I'm a dark boy. And these are all only. You know what? What is bad and good? It's it's on. It's not the opposite. It's on one line, a simply a different degradation of it, gradu graduation of it. It's not the opposite. Let's say, to say what is good, we can discuss, mm. but there are, for sure there are some things you can say these are bad, mm. I would say. Mm -hmm. But even I would say some things where you maybe say they are good, I say I don't see the point, why should it be good? So that's why it's really, of course, we agreed on many things that they are not good or that they are bad or something. But only because we agree on this is like with the truth nowadays out all the lies, they all agree on the line that becomes the truth because everybody agrees on it. On another place at another time. Would look different. Huh? Would be good, bad, what is good and good, what is bad. Yeah. And this is what I say about morals, you know, or ethics. They are so regional and time it's a picture depending. Of, yeah. it's like like with a photo. Yeah, it's for in one region in one part of the time. Yeah. Twenty years later, there was completely different. In another country, it was completely different. So that's why always being the, the the moral and ethic apostle doesn't help a lot. Because of these Chinese wet markets, they said 
in the beginning of the pandemic, you know, mm. they said, yes, it's this wet mark because the Chinese are eating everything, dogs and cats and everything. I started to research mm -hmm. and I found out till 1920, there mm. were dog butchers in Germany and in Austria. Mm. In Switzerland, in some places, they eat cats. Mm. So we're talking about the child they're eating cats and dogs mm. and pets mm. and this mm. and that. Maybe if, you, yeah. if you dig one, <laughs> one, you layer, one layer, only one layer. One, yeah. one layer aside, you say, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's so, so, yeah. so simple to talk. Yeah, mm -hmm. right, so if you don't know about... It's easy to talk about what you get served from mainstream media. You simply repeat it and you think you're a smart guy because, hey, I know something. Oh, they eat bats and talk to you, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Easy. And it's just, it's uh, like you said, morals and ethics. I don't like to eat the cat or a dog, yeah. but... But what's the difference to a pig or to a pig or to a cow? Exactly. Where where do you draw the line? Only because this one is a pet yeah. animal and the yeah. other one is a is a is a farm animal. That that's animal racism. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you see pop up videos on, on Facebook of cows. They hug you, you know, and they they uh, so yeah. they're really the petable animals. So why should you eat them? Yeah. Mm. And if you kill a fly or a mosquito, yeah. is this life less than the cow's life or the pig's yeah, the life? Mo the mosquito, yes. <laughs> 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 then I, then there I'm a racist, yes, I have to admit. <laughs> I, I agree, but life is life, no? Of course. And you don't think for a second if you kill a mosquito. <laughs> But then you need to you can't drive a car anymore. Did you drive on a summer evening once with a car faster than? Yes, you? I feel like mouse. So all this. <laughs> like, I feel like Stalin when I look at Da Vinci. <laughs> <laughs> oh, millions <Yeah>. of dead. <laughs> so that's why. Well, when you step somewhere, you need to check that you don't step on an ant or something. You know, it's, it's yeah. Yeah. where do you draw the line? Yeah, yeah. difficult. So in that so, sense. Next time, see you next week. It was a nice talk. Pleasure to talk to you, friends. Always nice to stay share wisdom and learn from you. Stay uh, cool and straight, friends. You yeah, should go out and practice. Don't discuss yeah. too many things on Facebook or on YouTube. Doesn't help at all. Go out and shoot some arrows. Buy the ladies a drink. Exactly. Shoot some arrows. Always be good to the ladies. Always be a gentleman. This is what you need. And to to cats and dogs. Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and rabbits and <laughs> whatever. Uh, okay. <laughs> Are we done now? <laughs> Good. <laughs> I mean, goodbye. Was fun. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Bye. See you next time.